Well that was the crack. My name is RG the Runner and welcome back to some more Stray. Okay, so we're here with our friend Momo. He's not looking very well. He's very sad. Despite having having a rainbow for her face. I mean, I thought if you had a bit of a rainbow on your face, you'd be happy. But, uh, of course, uh, you know, it begs to differ. Come on, Momo. Let's talk it out. Oh, okay, so we have to look for notebooks. I don't suppose there's any... Oh, we have a cat toy! Okay, I shouldn't mess with that, but... Look, cat toy! <laughs> Oh, so he killed the cat. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I, I can't control him. <laughs> Jesus. I, I can't do anything. Why? <laughs> oh, my God. That was the stupidest thing ever. Oh, then again, cats are kind of stupid. Kind of. Yeah, look, I'm not dissing cats. I love cats. Like I said in the last part, I have two. Well, one and a half. How can I have half a cat? Because the other cat technically somewhat isn't mine. He's sort of adopted from my neighbor. Uh, I don't want to say she or he is neglecting him. I don't want to say that he's being abused. He's definitely not being abused. He's not being neglected, but um, we feed him. We let him into our house. He stays in our house overnight sometimes. And uh, yeah, that, that's it. He's, he's not being held captive or anything like that. Also, uh, he had a bit of an accident there a while ago where I brought him into the vet and paid for it out of my own pocket. So yeah, I am a good person. <laughs> okay, but uh, time to go out. Can I just... Wait, if I scratch, will he, will he let me out? No. No, 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 no. He doesn't seem to give it out. Okay, so I have to look for notebooks. Oh, and I can do the same thing here. Right. Again, there's no hand holding in this game, so it's really more or less find about find out about the game yourself. Ooh, back home. Back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? Ooh, new memory recovered. We're making lots of progress in that end. Um... Inventory, memories. Sensors detecting memory data at proximity. Oh, so this gives us little hints where memories are. So... Uh, I'm guessing all these memories are optional, but of course, if I want to put experience off the game, I have to find them all. But I don't think, at least for this Let's Play, I'll bother with it or bother finding all the memories. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. This symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. So that's where we have to go next. We already visited this place. We could check if there is other signs like that. Okay. Again, all this is optional, and to find them, I'd need a decent bird's eye view. Oh, look, there's one. So, what about it? Wait, there's another one as well, I think. There was a sort of blue sign like that over here as well. Yeah, there is. So, what about them? Oh, whee! Bebenship. Oh, the contrast on this is very high. Holy crap. Ok, 
Okay. So this blue robot sign, what means it? Is there a purpose behind it? Oh, catapult. Nice. I love getting my trophies. But seriously, though, what, what's my objective now? Where do I go? Uh, should it be twelve? Okay, I'm, I'm a bit lost. Not gonna lie. Okay, what about you now? You seem a bit wise. You have uh, an old paddy cap on you. Hepter, that's your name. Oh, hey, it's you. You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. So, the robots in the city, they've all been implanted with human memories, human emotions. That's so cool. Oh, come on, give me a pet. It's practically illegal not to pet a cat. Oh, so these signs, I think they, they have, um, they'll show us where the next notebook is. By the way, I did cut out 10 minutes of the last video, so I did go into that building there, but I, I, I cut that part out because it kind of went, to, went into a bit of a tangent, and it made no sense. Alrighty, righty ho dee do 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 Ooh, remember. Okay. It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go up to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behavior. Oh, no, okay. So we are getting into a bit of the lore of the game. No chance I can jump down there, no? Didn't think so. So the mewing seems to do nothing for me now. Like, at the start of the game, it seemed to guide me, but... It, it doesn't need to be doing jack squat now. Like, is there a map? Anything that'll give me any bit of a hint. Okay, we found three notebooks. One more and we're good. We have to look in the abandoned flats of the area. You should be able to see them all from the rooftops. Look for an outsider logo. So I need to go up higher. Wait, yeah, there is an outsider logo there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where I need to go. I was right. I was right from the beginning. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. So we just hop up here. Yep. Hippity. Who? Oh, I like these little muse. They're the cutest damn thing ever. What? What are you doing over there? What you boys be up to? You, you, you mucking about? Can I get up to some mischief here? I bet I can. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, I have to mew at the right time. Hold on. No. <laughs> so what did that do? Uh-oh. See, look. I'm a mischievous cat. You don't know what I get up to. 
Oops. Okay, so that opened up a door down here. I know I'm getting a little sidetracked. Just jump down here like so. Jump on the sun. Oh. Oh, down arrow to ask for help. Okay, yeah, well, I already figured that out. Okay, so I'm... I opened this area for a reason. Oh, take super spirit detergent. Yes, I needed one of these. Because uh, the merchant wanted one. So, anything else? Any more of these I can take? Uh, no, I, I, I don't think so. That was, that was the only one. Okay. I just wished our paws uh, picked up the paint here. Hey, buddy. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop. Again? Well, you'll be along while I clean that. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. Uh, yeah, I don't think a sponge is going to help you there, bud. Okay, so where was the merchant again? Um, uh, wait, the sign might help. Bartman, Super Spirit Laundry, Grandma Clothing, and Elliot Programming. Uh, okay, I think it's back this way. I, yeah, 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 it's, it's down this way. Hey, Robo Buddy. Um, yeah, I think it was the electric cable that I could trade for. Super Spirit Detergent, yes. Uh, yeah, here you go. So that'll probably come in handy for later. Okay, and you're in my way. You're in front of a fucking vending machine. I need, I need to use it. You do look like a little zerk from far away, at least. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal. They're terrifying. Don't worry, lady or lady bot. I don't do that. Uh, I said I wouldn't get sidetracked here, but there's just so much to explore. Oh yeah, this is one of the places in my memories. Uh, hold on, look, 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 look. Uh, I'm going to memories again. Yeah, it was this place right here. Do they really consume this? Their original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans. Do you think I should try some of it? I do not want to be disrespectful of their ways. I don't know, bro, why are you asking me? Why are you asking me? I'm just a cat. Music cheated to give me that. So I've what five of them now, I think. Okay. This is a newspaper from the people living above on level two. It's a few years old, but it's still something to read. Ah, well, guess you can't keep up with current events then. Okay, I'm out of here. Wait, hold on. Jacob, employee of the month, September XX27. Okay, right. Yes, there was a building I wanted to go to. Crap. Uh, and I said I have to go up high to get to it. I think it was near here, actually. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, it was that one.
Okay, no more getting sidetracked. Can I knock these ones down? Oh, I can. No. Yep. So there's got to be a way of getting in here. Through here, perhaps? What I need is a bucket. Or this. Then we take this out and just drop it. Like so. Just drop in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now where's this book? Oh, water, water. You know, gonna keep hydrated. I do a good giddy giddy. Okay, that's enough. Oh, look, it's Jacob, employee of the month again. This is probably his house. Okay, don't book up here. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. This is another way inside. I'm not done here. The book has to be somewhere. Ah, here it is. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zabaltzar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Oh. There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If we can communicate with the upper levels, that would be our way up. Let's show them what we found. Okay, let's do that. And let's GTFO out of here. Almost sounds it wasn't too far. It's up here, I do believe. Yes, yeah, 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 yes. Here we go. Oh, yeah. and the commentary quality might be a little better because I noticed in the last video, uh, I think I had the microphone too close to me, or I had the uh, pop filter too close to the microphone, and the, there was a lot of p -p 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 sounds. So, yeah, have that fixed. See. Told you I'd make him professionally yet. Hey, Momo, my buddy. Uh, no, no. Wait, do we show him all of these? No, oh, you found Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know. The most fearless person I've ever met. Okay, and... It's a Balancer's notebook as well. That's a Balancer's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Cool beans. And we have Momo's notebook as well. That's my notebook. I was the last to join the Outsiders, and I'm also the last remaining one. Okay, are you not going to take it off me? On Doc's notebook. Yeah, that's the last one. Oh, it belonged to Doc. 
He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that, Noah? The transceiver can be repaired? That's incredible. Awesome. So that means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Yeah. Clementine, Salsabar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find a way up. Or find me, or find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Okay, what will that do? It, voila, it works. Come with me, all right. Where are we going? Up there, see that building high above the others? Uh, kind of. If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends still might be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Okay, cool. Wait, the Zerks? Were those... The little things that chased us? I think they were. And you said... Uh, somebody said I was like them. Or I looked like them. Okay, so it's that huge ass tower we need to get to. Ooh. That might take a while. But hey, look. Anything to help her buddy. Rooftops. Ah. So this game is linear when you know how... Wait, you to attract enemies. Uh oh. Why would I want to do that? Why did I do that? Get over here. Oh shit, they can jump. Okay, just half over here. You can give me, you little jerks. You, you can't do shit. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, getting even closer. You just gotta hardcore parkour all this shit. Oh, another place to remember stuff. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helps. Oh, that's cool. Making lots of progress on those memories. Sure, there's probably a lot of them I skipped by back in the slums, but again, I'm not too worried about it at this stage. It's all about getting to the end of this game and seeing how it plays out. Here we go. Okay, I guess I'm not going up that way. Or hold on. Ah, yeah. That's clever. Speaking of clever, I need to shift this. So if I jump up here, do the same thing again, like so.
still heading in the right direction, right? Yeah, I think I am. I think it's impossible to go in the wrong direction. Uh oh. I think this is direct territory. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, nothing. So I can hack the door. And can I close it again? Oh shoot! Yeah, it can't get me, boys. Okay, and a hub, and a one, two, three. Here we go, getting ever closer. Oh god. And to think, people actually walk on these. Oh, I could not do that. So, what now? Where do I go from here? There's gotta be something. How do I get up there? Oh, okay. Jeez, I'm fairly slow today. Uh oh, this is a bad area. I shouldn't be here. I need to be quick about this. Oh, shoot! Get out of my Okay, I should have been quicker. Alright, I don't think there's a way to distract them. At least I don't think so. Okay, I, I just gotta run for it. Oh my god! Can't get me up here, right? Yeah, no, 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 I can't. Okay. Alright, just gotta scope this place out again. There's a lot of them over there. memory Neocorn they were responsible for waste management as trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all ah oh, and those bacteria evolved to become the Zerks that we see now is that right after the humans disappeared that bacteria mutated growing, eating away more than trash. And now we have the Zerks. Ah, it makes sense now. Let's go. Oh, quarter of the memories already? Jeez, I'm good at this. I can't be recording for what? Oh, not even half an hour. But I'm making good progress. And I looked it up. Uh, the game is supposed to be about maybe half an hour in length. Okay, 
I just want to find out how... Oh, okay, okay. So when I hack this door, I have to leg it. Supposed to go this way? Oh no, I'm. I know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, there's a beam up there. Catch me live. Jeez, got some spring heels on you. Okay, I'm almost to the tippy top now. But how would you get up there? Unless, oh, there's a thing here. Of course. And of to avoid all these things, right? Shit! Get the hell off me! Just gotta keep running. Keep running. Okay, just loop him like a train. Any freaking time now. Oh, thank God, they're stupid and they can't climb. Not easier than I thought it would be. I've said that before. <clears throat> oh, it's broke, of course. Here it is, put the transceiver on this antenna. Okay. Uh, where is it? Oh, here. There, broadband for all at last. Don't know why I brought broadband into this. Camera seems a bit off, just need to center it a small bit. There we go. Oh, 
Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now. The city. It was meant to be a shelter. A shelter from what? Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof seeding off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. Oh. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Sweet. And that's 29% and the rest are just uh, optional things scattered around the city. Cool. Well, screenshot time. I like sharing these on my Twitter. Uh oh. Battery low, that's never good. <laughs> oh, look at that. Everything a cat does, it's super freaking cute. So, the slums part two. Okay, so these, um, they weren't just areas, they were. Sort of little subsections, chapters. Aye, okay. I thought just each new area, I thought that every, every time I saw that pop up, I thought it was just a new area I was in. Ooh, what's this? The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. Damn right, and it's the most beautiful thing ever. Wait, look, a note. Where? Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It's... Yeah, I don't understand that. Be careful, it's case sensitive. See you at the bar. Momo. That must be the code for the window under the entrance. Let's go. Here's the lock for the window. The code was... Mm, I think... It was an H, I think. Oh, wrong key. Uh oh. What's gonna happen now? Freaking turns and. Not turns, turns and pointed us and whatnot, right? Whoops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, okay, so there, there will be no turns pointed at us. And then it was O or was it a zero? Z ah! Okay, so we gotta get to the bar. Yeah. And it wasn't too far from here. But first, I uh, might just do a little side exploring here. See if there's any more buildings I can go into. Because I know I was at the bar already. But you jumped down there. Oh, there's another memory. Would you get your cat ass down there? Rip humans. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry. I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. Uh, that is a very uh, dark thought to be honest that's something I don't even want to think about it something I don't want to think about sorry okay so I've got another can for your man 
your man merchant. Wait, why am I suddenly going slowly down here? Wait, can I annoy somebody here? It's okay, you can leave. The Guardian said it was not the Xerdix. Oh, okay. So there are certain doors I can paw at and they'll probably open. Or, to be exact, somebody will open them for me. What the hell is that? Is that coming from this bucket here? Is that glitched? It must be. Hey, look at this shady dude. They don't trust you. you. Look like an anemic Donald Trump. Right, here's. No, that's not the bar. What about you? That guy is cleaning the paint again. Sure is making use of all that detergent. I bet he is. Okay, now what about this door? Can it be opened? I don't think so. Please, don't act like a child. I'm not going to hurt you. Ah, okay. That's fine. But anyway, our merchant friend, he is down here. So the last thing I need off you is that sheet music, or no, this thing. Yeah, I, I believe I have three of those. I only have two. Well, sorry. I told you to cut me a deal. Okay, so that's the bar. Okay, you just have to hold your horses there, Momo. Just want to do another small bit of exploring around here. Oh, can I rub against his legs? Oh, I can. Oh. I left it in the streets, and the next day in the Zerks I consumed it completely. That's crazy, right? They can eat everything. Jesus. Devs, they really thought of everything for this game. Right, anything else around here? Ooh, how about you? You look interesting. <laughs> See that? What's oh, a grandma? Hello, little one. Do you have any electric cable for me? I'd love to make a poncho for you, but I need that cable. Oh, you know what? I actually do. I do. I have the best electric cable. Thank you, my dear. I'll get to work right away. So what kind of drip will I have now? Game to you item. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. Okay, so I guess I'll be needing that later, I think. Or can I just put it on myself now? Perfect. 
perfect for a cold robot. Oh, okay, so I'll be giving it to somebody else. Okay, that bucket is still haunted. Okay, but I think I've explored enough, so I'll get straight to the bar now. Hey, little furball. Come here, I managed to get a signal. And show me, show me. Can I hop up and share? Let me see if I can get this thing working. Yep, yeah, that sounds like dialed up all right. I almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Zavalser? Momo? Pshh! I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Zavalser. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, pshh. We are safe. Pshh. We found a way up. Hello, you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. And sewers. How? Hello? Darn it! We've lost the signal. God damn it. I can't believe it. The Balzar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if the Balzar made it, there must be a way. Okay. You have an idea? Seamus, you'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with Zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. Oh, well, uh... Thanks for the pep talk, dear uh, Seamus. Jacob. Pfft, Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Oh, poor Seamus. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Okay, lead the way. Or I could just hop on your shoulders, couldn't I? Would you carry me? No? Ooh, Teddy. How you doing? Grandma made the scarf. Isn't it wonderful? She knits it so well. Wait, can I give it to you? Okay. Oh, there you are. Wait, can I give this to you? Okay, no, it's obviously meant for a very specific robot. Wait, didn't I try to get in here before? Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. I guess not. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you. I think I have an idea. 
Will this involve breaking and entering? Probably. Oh. Here, take Doc Snowpoke and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find a secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others. Yeah, okay. You do that. Oh. What are you doing in here? I told you. Getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. No. There you go. What's this? Wait. Is this my papa's? Oh, wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat. But where? Uh, I'll guess that'll be for me to figure out. I'm guessing it's the square shaped hole here. Or the square shaped gap. Or a gap that's not a gap yet. Oh, jeez. Oh, here we go. Do you know the code? I've never noticed that digicode before. How did I miss it? And I've no idea what the password could be. Gotta be lying around here somewhere. Oh, it's right in front of me. It's 2512. Okay. Two. Wait, no, 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 no. 2512. Wait, there's 16 hours in that. Why is there 16 hours? Okay, if I, I'm just going by where the small hand is pointed there. Two, five, one, two, five, one, one. Two, five, one, one. Yeah, there we go. never seen this room. I can't believe you managed to hide it from me all this time. Those blueprints, they must be for his assertive weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. No. That's sad. Robot news headlines. Zerg are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's uh, pretty bad. Oh, what do we have in here now? Uh-oh. Any ideas, Seamus? Okay, guess not. Is something for the hottest box here?
something probably fell out of that box and I knocked it away somewhere. Observations. Cute sounds but never friendly. Over bacteria of human time. Eat all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to intense light. Right, so if I turn on my flashlight? Maybe not. Oh, wait, there's another box up there. Oh, here we go. Tracker. Shavis, come here. Come here, I want you, Shavis. Ah, uh, yeah, yes, I do. I have this tracker. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my Papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Xerx, right? My Papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come with me and I'll open the door for you. Or I could just, you know, go out the way I came. Or not. Hold on. There's a few more things I want to know that. Whoa! Okay, never mind. Just destruction. Oh, time will tell. Okay, uh, very inspirational. Wait, aren't you coming with me? You gotta fix that tracker. You're resourceful. Maybe you can find someone in the slums to help. Wait, I, I thought you were gonna help me. How long have I been recording for just a little over an hour? I'll record for a little longer this time. Uh, but, but where would I go to get this fixed? What about you, Guardian? Would you be able to help me? You look lost. What you need? I need you to fix this. Oh, with the bartender. Oh. Okay. Oh, look at this kid. <laughs> yeah, what about you, friend? You have anything for me? Look at all this great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. You should visit the barterman. There's something for everyone over there. Wait. By the way, did you say barman or barterman? I need to know. <clears throat> oh yeah, you said the bartender. Yeah, okay. Hey, Jacob. You can show me how to fix this. What a beautiful object, and rare too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented. Just a little... Well, uh, you'll see. His name's Elliot. His office is just left up here, near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Okay, I was at Grandma's shop. Uh, is this it? No, don't think so. To the left of Grandma's shop. Uh, 
down here. Okay, that thing's still haunted. No. Wait, 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 is this it? Oh, Elliot programming, yes, 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 yes. Okay, just do the old scratch technique. Okay, never mind, I, I thought he saw me. Boo. You're here for Elliot? He's just over there. Okay, thanks, Nestor. Oh, I'm taking that sheep music, that's mine. Oh, and of course, memories. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. It's what humans would have wanted. Aw, oh, that's nice. Hey, Elliot, buddy. How you doing? Yes, can I help you? If you can help me fix this thing. The broken tracker. Oh, wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Toyma BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. Uh, may I? I know how to repair it, but, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. Oh, good thing for you, Elliot. I have to have one on me. There you go. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. Oh, there you go. Still to you. Look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks. Now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update and one more thing. Voila! There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. Okay, sweet. Thanks, Elliot, lad. Just do the old scratch technique again here. Sharpen those claws. And there we go. There, are fluffy mark there. And I assume I can exit this way, right? Yeah, thought so. There we go. Okay, so it's been nearly an hour and 20 minutes. It's just uh, trying to catch up with the latest uh, AAA titles for the YouTube rat race. It's almost impossible for channels uh, like mine, especially like if you don't have the game early. Not that I'm mad about it, okay? I, I don't care about getting games early. It's just there are a lot of people, and I've said this before, They'll sniff out retailers that'll break street date, and that will give them a bit of a buffer. So, if somebody had this game three or four days early because they bought it from a retailer, that'll give them a good two or three days to make their videos. So, it's kind of unfair to people who go out and buy games on the official day of release and then try and play catch up. But then again, them's, them's the breaks. I mean, like, if people want to do that, that's, that's fine. Because I've seen many channels do it. I've seen where it leads, and it doesn't lead anywhere good. It just puts their channels, sometimes, into a downward spiral. And it just means more work for them, because it means that people are coming to their channel for one reason, because 
they have the latest AAA games and they'll have them up as fast as possible. So they're working their asses off and doing whatever it takes to get the games early. And that's just very unhealthy in my opinion. But either way, I'll, I'll keep going at this game, hammer and tongs for as long as I can. And of course, I'll finish off Dead Space and I'll finish off... Uh, Life is Strange 2 on the last episode, so there'll be another three episodes of that game, or three parts of that game, or that chapter. And, uh, yeah, we'll take them there. So I think I'll end the video right here now, because I think, I think I've done a lot. I think I I plowed through the game as much as I could on day one. So, uh, yeah, I'm very, very pleased with that. So, anyway, guys, you know what to do? If you did enjoy this video by some freaking miracle, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up comment favorite share with your friends and of course like always i'll see you in the next one so until next time see ya